In this lecture, we're going to talk about how many BTUs it takes to turn one pound of ice at zero degrees into one pound of steam at 232 degrees. In order to do that, we have to first go over the definition of BTUs. BTU is the amount of heat required to raise one pound of water one degree Fahrenheit. That's roughly the amount of heat found in a kitchen match. It also takes a half a BTU to raise one pound of ice one degree Fahrenheit and a half a BTU to raise one pound of steam one degree Fahrenheit. It takes 144 BTUs to turn one pound of ice into one pound of ice water and it takes 970 BTUs to turn one pound of boiling water into one pound of steam. So as we think about it this way, anytime we're raising the temperature of a, of a substance, we can measure that temperature with a thermometer. So when we're raising the temperature of water or ice, that's a, a sensible change. A sensible change is a temperature we can sense, heat we can sense, sensible heat. All right, when we're changing uh, state from water to ice, ice to water, or steam to water, that's a latent change. In a latent change, there's no change in temperature. We're just changing state. So let's get started. We're going to start with a pound of ice at zero degrees, and like I said, we want to bring it up to a pound of steam at 232 degrees and see how many BTUs that will take. So the first thing we have to do is take our ice at zero degrees and bring it up to 32 degrees, which is the mountain state. So we're going to subtract those two numbers. We'll get 32. Multiply that by 0.5, and we're going to get 16 BTUs. So we're going to write that on our paper. Alright, now we have a pound of ice at 32 degrees, and now we need to mount it. It's going to take 144 BTUs to mount this pound of ice. Once that ice is mounted, we're going to have 32 degree ice water. The next step is to take that water and bring it up to the boiling point of 212 degrees. So what we're going to do is take 212, subtract 32, we're going to get 180 degrees, multiply that by 1, and we're going to get 180 BTUs. So now we write that number down. Alright, we now have boiling water at 212 degrees. It's going to take 970 BTUs to turn that water into steam. So that will give us a pound of steam at, at 212 degrees. We said we wanted to bring it up to 232, so we're going to subtract 212, and that's going to give us 20. Multiply that by 0.5, that will give us 10 BTUs. Now we'll add all these numbers together, and we're going to get 1,320 BTUs. So it's going to take 1,320 BTUs to turn one pound of ice at zero degrees into one pound of steam at 232 degrees. The first step is we took our ice from zero, brought it up to the mountain point at 32. That was a sensible change. We then took that pound of ice and melted it into a pound of ice water. That's a latent change. There's no change in temperature. There's a change in state. We then took that 32 degree ice water and brought it up to the boiling point of 212 degrees. That was again a sensible change. The next step was to take that boiling water and turn it into a pound of steam. And that took 970 BTUs, which again was a latent change. And then we took that 212 degree steam, brought it up to 232 degree steam, and again, 
that was a sensible change. Now, if you examine these numbers and, and you start to think about this, you can see that the most energy is required to take a pound of water and turn it into a pound of steam. And you might wonder, why do we do that in HVAC? Well, think of it this way. It takes just as much energy to remove a pound of steam and turn it into a pound of water. And that's basically what we do for air conditioning. We're actually removing humidity from the air. So in air conditioning, we're taking a pound of, for every pound of water we take out of somebody's home, it's going to take us 970 BTUs. It's going to take us relatively few BTUs to change the temperature of the air. It's going to, most of the energy is required to remove BTUs. And this is why we have to learn the, uh, how to add and subtract BTUs. Their BTUs will be pretty much the currency that the HVAC technician uses out in the field.